and there's the import feature right here, you have to break the link. Once you break the link, just go to File, Save As, and save it as a new SolidWorks part file. You can then close this document and open up the new part file that you saved. If you don't do that, none of the exact flat scene features or the, um, the, the grid in the background, you're not going to be able to see any of those. So it's very important that you break the link. The next item um, is once you've, um, once you've started using the piece creator, you can't make any kind of changes to the 3D model. So the piece creator will effectively lock the uh, 3D model into place. If you do realize that you've made a mistake or you need to add a cut line or a dart or you need to change the shape of a face or scale your model, you need to basically remove the piece creator from the document that will effectively undo all of your flattening and patterning work. You can then make a change to your 3D model and then you can restart the flattening process starting with the piece creator. The third item is once you have formed pattern pieces with the piece creator and once you have converted that document to an exact flat document, you can no longer make changes to the piece creator. So if during your flattening process, you realize that there's a hole in your part, there's a face that was, is missing that you forgot to select, or if you have extra faces that are not supposed to be there, you need to effectively undo the flattening process by going to insert tools or insert exact flat, revert to SolidWorks part, and that will undo the flattening process giving you full access to the edit features of the piece creator. Once you've done that, you can then open up the piece creator and you can modify your part and uh, add the missing face, remove the missing face, add the missing piece or remove the missing piece, whatever you need to do. Uh, fourth, pattern pieces cannot be moved or modified after a grain line has been added. So once the grain line feature has been added to your pattern pieces, um, the only thing you can do from there is um, export your pattern pieces to uh, DXF. If you try to move your pieces, um, in most cases SolidWorks is going to crash. Uh, so it's very important that you save your grain line to be the very last uh, step of your workflow. Um, otherwise, you're going to get unexpected behavior, which will probably ultimately lead to SolidWorks crashing. Lastly, all model edges need to be watertight, and um, all intersecting, intersecting edges must share a common vertex. So as we look at this model here, we can see that there's no gaps or holes between any of the edges. And if we start examining the edges here, we can see that they're all intersecting at a common vertex right there. So that's what we want to see. We, won't, we don't want to see a vertex somewhere placed in the middle of a very long edge. If, if you do that downstream, once you start adding seams and hems, your, um, your, your seams aren't going to align, your notches aren't going to align, and you're not going to end up with a good pattern. So just make sure that your, your part is watertight and that uh, there's no holes or gaps between your edges and that where you do have um, splits or breaks in your edge that uh, they occur on both, uh, both sides, uh, all shared faces of that edge. So as long as you keep those uh, requirements and best practices in mind, Exact Flat is a very powerful tool that will allow you to very quickly uh, flatten your parts and uh, do your patterning work. <coughs>